This guy right here is my first villager on this server. But now, he's dead. Griefing, I've taken like two months off from this server. Um, all this footage right here is some old content. And yeah, all this stuff that you'll see, we lost due to griefing. And uh, thanks dude, whoever you were. I'm not gonna name you, but uh, you, you suck, I hope you know. I uh, It was like two weeks of work, just just gone, just gone. And for what we're trying to do in this server, it's just, it's just no fun guys, especially when the person who does it lies about it and doesn't own it. You know, there's mutual shenanigans. And then there's just destroying people's stuff. And we are down for a good old prank, but this was definitely something different. Um, when the server manager started recruiting people for this server, he originally posted this was going to be a 21 and up server anyways. But we ended up having someone who admitted to being 15 after being turned in multiple times for their behavior. And this person was told that they were going to be removed from the server, but not for any other reasons than that we wanted to establish our server with mature individuals and didn't want to deal with the shenanigans, you know. Um, the server manager is a really nice dude, though. I'm not sure exactly what he said to this person, but I do know that he told the person that he, they were going to be allowed back at a later date once everything, you know, evened out and we established a way of normal. Um, this person was allowed to make sure that all their stuff was where they wanted it to be before logging off. That way, when they came back, they'd be set up. And with that time, the person just griefed us. He just griefed the entire server. Um, I lost my first villager and pretty much all of my good storage because I just had it laying out. You know, we're supposed to be trusting and others lost structures altogether, animals, and it really hurt the server. Avalon lost about three people due to a lack of trust. And it's understandable. Like I said, I even had to take a step back and kind of look and see what the server was going to do because we've, we've seen servers come and go. Um, we've been on enough multiplayer servers to see, you know, life happens, people change, server managers, stuff happens and they just don't want to continue the subscription and the whole world's just gone. And personally, I get really discouraged when I see just a hint of that happening. And that's definitely one of the reasons why we took our step back. We definitely had our own personal stuff going on, but obviously that didn't happen. Fast forwarding the Avalon server to January of 2021, we're back, and would you look at this beautiful sign that someone made? I'm not sure who made it, um, but it is beautiful nonetheless. And there's actually been quite a bit of progress that has happened since I joined back up, and I have that content as well, but I figured that might be better suited for another time to show the absolute boom and progression that we're going to be seeing here, because just tonight, we had two members join, and a few days ago we had a few members join. And this outpost right here is my shop. It's called Shinner's Observatory, and I built it not only to sell raid farm loot in an obvious place, but to also start kicking off this lore that I'm trying to write, I suppose. It's pretty much based off of what is already widely speculated to be the lore of this game. Um, and once we get the leather wither quest out of the way that I have planned, um, I'll be able to let you know a little bit more of what that's all about. And I suppose that we didn't quite mention it yet, but if it wasn't totally obvious, we were definitely in the shopping district of Avalon. If you look behind us, we've got this sweet shop sign um, built by the same person, of course. Beautiful. And this right here is the residential district of Avalon. A lot more shops have gone up than houses in the last week for sure. But this little walkway here has completely transformed. This is completely different than it was a week ago. Even this area, the Avalon Square, if you will, I think that's what we're calling it. He says he hasn't died. We missed. Back in the residential district, that house in front of us is my house. Um, they're basically, all these houses are basically just supposed to serve as a, a mailbox, I guess. There's like a chest inside of each one. And some of these houses are actually being built by people who are like leasing them which is a pretty cool concept there's not a whole lot going on out here quite yet uh, this is a really cool bridge here but uh I think this is supposed to be like a gaming district area or a PvP area I'm not actually sure there is a sign somewhere 
not that sign. The goal of the next episode is definitely going to be showing you guys everybody else's bases, their builds, and what they have going on, and hopefully we can get in a Discord chat with them, and um, actually we'll be meeting them together for the first time because I haven't met a lot of these guys. It's going to be cool. I realized while I was over there looking at the outpost, I haven't actually checked to see if I sold anything, and I have. This is definitely no secret. Um, someone went down here when I was making it. This is uh, how trusting we are on this server. I have all of my payments in this little chest down here. Try to be funny with it though, you know. This little pub that we're squatting in here is Dante's Tavern. I'm about to go drain the top part of a guardian farm, but I figured that I'd grab a brewski with the boys, little Qgonic server manager. And uh, a yakker here with his lack of eyebrows. <laughs> you guys enjoyed my very first Minecraft time lapse ever. I enjoyed making it. It was a good time getting pummeled by some of the guardians there if you saw that. I uh, hope that you also enjoyed this video even though we did have to start on a bit of a sad tone with Avalon being griefed. Definitely wanted to make sure that you guys knew what the heck he was going on and let you know that I'm going to be doing my best to keep this series going and actually capture the progression along the way. This world is still in its very earliest days, considering that we plan to keep it around as long as possible. So there's definitely more to see. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you liked what you saw, give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this series and other adventures we may take, consider subscribing. Thank you and have a good day.